Hey, welcome to Sing and Cook, and I'm your popular host, Harpal Singh Sokhi. I'm going to make thali peet, bhajni thali peet. Now, this is very popular in Maharashtra, and it's one of the most healthiest breakfasts in my country. You know, it's a mixture of so many things: mixture of rice, wheat, jawar, which is sorghum, bajra, millet. It split black gram, Bengal gram, coriander seeds. Wow, the entire thing is ground and mixed to a flour. Nowadays, you get this flour easily in the market. If you can buy it, it's fine. But if you don't get it, then I'll tell you the proportion. It's one cup of wheat, whole wheat, one cup of rice, two cups of millet, which is bajra. Two cups of jawar, which is sorghum seeds, three fourth cup of Bengal gram, three fourth cup of split black dal, and half cup of coriander seeds. Now the entire thing is like sun dried, which is like actually sun roasted, I would say, and then ground to a fine powder. That is the flour from which this breakfast bread is made. It's so beautiful, and I'm going to make it in this beautiful piece of equipment which I've got. Gas oven tandoor. So first of all, let's make the dough. This is what the bajni flour, the flour looks like. Now to this, what I'm going to do is add some onions, some turmeric, salt to taste. Need to add some coriander leaves, fresh coriander leaves. Some people add, some don't, but I love coriander seeds. Nice and fresh coriander leaves in this. Multi-grain flour, cream chilies. Nice. If you like it hot, you can add more. I'm just adding one. Now to this, you need to add water. Be a little careful while you add water because you don't want the dough to be like watery. You know, it should be nice and firm, but it should be soft also. So let's mix this up properly. Thali peed is actually nice and crisp. But the onions make it moist, and it's beautiful. So blend this up well. Wow! Look at this. This dough that I had made before is nice and soft. Very less gluten in it because it's a multi-grain flour that I've used. That's what is actually used in a thali peed. Now let me tell you that some people also add tomatoes. Some people add red chili powder instead of the green chilies. That option is something which I leave it to you. You are the best judge. If you get red chili easily, use red chili. Traditional Maharashtrans definitely use red chili powder. And what I'll do is, I've got a cutter here. Let me cut banana leaves nice and round. So we have banana leaves now. Nice and round banana leaves. Typically, this is something which is eaten in breakfast. And also is done up with hands. I'm also cutting it from the center. This is what it is. A little troublesome, but the end result is just beautiful. So I've got knife here. Let me cut it from the center. The round part from the center. Okay. So beautiful little pieces. What people do generally is on these leaves, they flatten the dough. Beautiful. Isn't it? I love this piece of bread that is made in Maharashtra. Beautiful. And what I'll do is, you need to take out the center bit of it. Wow! Look at this. So the bread is ready to go inside the gas oven tandoor. Now this is something which is very typical, very healthy. Let me quickly do another one. Wow! Look at this. Some breakfasts in India, actually all of them are healthy, but. This is super healthy. If you have noted the quantity of ingredients that are used in making this flour, it is just beautiful. Now I've got my gas oven tandoor, which preheated. What I'll do is remove this, put this piece here, another one here. Now cover and cook for nearly five minutes because the thali peat is nice and crisp from outside. So it would take little more time than what you would cook a roti or something. So this one, you cook it for five minutes, 
You can check it. If it is nice and crisp, remove it out and eat it with green chutney. That's how Maharashtrians typically eat for breakfast. Very, very healthy and healthier way of cooking because we've got a gas oven tandoor. The thali peat is now nice and crisp. It's ready. It's crisp in the outers and it's cooked well from bottom also. Generally, if you were to cook this on a griddle, you would keep applying oil and sprinkle some water. But this is good, nice and crisp. What we need to do is smear some butter on top of this. Wow, look at this. Beautiful. And you have a healthy, healthy thali peat, which is ready. Wow, isn't this beautiful? I love this because this is cooked in a gas oven tandoor and it's so simple, very healthy. As I told you before, I want a healthier world because Harpal loves all the people across the world. I want them to lead a healthy life. Thali peat for you.